This is an instruction video about how to use Asana at asana.com. Uh, Asana is a cute little program, and I love it. And I recently recommended it to my friend Alan to be used in his uh, company. So uh, up here, I'm going to give you, actually, I'm just going to take you through a quick tour of it and then recommend where you get more information. So we're going to learn about Asana in the context of this company that just got created and will soon have uh, some people in it and then possibly some more people later. Uh, so a quick how-to that relates to new users and using Asana, and then some information about where to go to get everything else about what you're doing here. So here we go. Uh, under your company of choice, now you've got a uh, company of choice and your personal tasks in here. Make sure you're in your company of choice, in this case, Area 51. And Alan has created a project, one project. He was probably prompted to do this when he created the Asana account. So he has one project called Revamp, but he has no tasks in this project. He can add a task by clicking here uh, and continue to add tasks, one, two, three, four, five, by hitting enter or just typing or what have you. Now, after I type, I hit enter and do some more uh, typing. If I hate all of this, then I can hold tab and backspace and get rid of these things except that that was too fast and Asana didn't know what I was doing there we go okay so I'm gonna leave this as I found it I've already typed up an introduction uh, project that includes tasks and subtasks so I've uh, by clicking on project create a project I have created a an introduction project that includes everything that I want so this is a task and uh, this particular task happens to be me instructing about tasks. Smiley face. Please check the notes. Notes about tasks. You can have like, you know, say five tasks or 500 tasks right here. And each of them, you can keep track of your notes in this right pane. So you've got company projects, your center ta pane, which is about the tasks in general, like fix the toilet, fix the chair, fix your life, fix your mentality, fix your wife. Um, under fix your wife, you can have all of the things you want to do to fix your wife or fix your chair or whatever. So in this task, which is about uh, tasks, over here we have notes. So the main uh, name of this is right there. Before you do anything else, uh, go to, not so to, go to my tasks to demonstrate private company tasks versus public tasks. Then come back here and continue. Ah, how nice of me to have left myself notes. Like, I would have left you notes if I wanted you to know uh, what I wanted you to do. Or you would have left me notes if you would have wanted me to know what you wanted me to do. Or you would have left notes because you're a nice person and you wanted everyone to know what the hell is going on. And that's why we're using this program. Okay, so we're going to note as we go along. So I'm going to go to the My Tasks, like it asks me to. My Tasks are here. Uh, who can see this? Indeed, I have created this task called Who Can See This? And this is the test task that I will add to another uh, account. And this account is on, on in Firefox over here. One sec. Uh, this is a different guy, notice. Here's me. Here's this test account. Uh, and he is going to go to his tasks as well. Notice he does not see my tasks. And that's because I'm in my tasks and he's in his my tasks. And his tasks are going to be different than mine. Now, this is very, very different uh, if you're down in the company's tasks. But getting back to it, I just wanted to demonstrate this really quickly. So who can see this? Nobody. Uh, this task I will add to Strifest, and I'll go ahead and do that by uh, giving him... Doot, doot, doot. Come on. One sec. Here, instead of being me, it's going to be him. And I can also just start typing his name. Like, I could type Alan's name, my friend Alan. Or Strifest. And just hit enter. And now, Strifus is in charge of task B. Notice it goes away from my personal tasks and ends up in his personal tasks. But it is not anywhere in the company tasks. So this is the big point, is that if you want a company task 
It needs to be in the company tasks. So, for example, Alan made revamp, but it has nothing in it. I'm going to add the this is a ham sandwich for Alan because I like them to the company here called, or the company project called revamp. Come on. That's supposed to work, damn you. And it did. Great. So now in my tasks, um, I have this in my personal tasks, so I know what I'm doing. But it is called, or excuse me, it is under the project called revamp. Now this is a tag, and we'll get to that in just a minute. But I wanted to demonstrate it. So now, no one can see task A, because it's not assigned to an individual, and neither it's not in an individual's uh, personal tasks, it hasn't been assigned to them, and it's not under the company's projects. So these are basically the transparent projects that everyone can see, and this is just stuff you have to do, which, if it happens to be under a company task, uh, everyone can see it. If it doesn't, no one will ever see it. No one can see this but me, because that's sneaky. So, I have now completed the notes in here. And I'll come back and continue. So before I did anything else, I wanted to go to my tasks to demonstrate the difference between those two things. Because it's the most important difference that can screw you up. Everything from here on out is totally cake. So here's the rest of the tutorial, Fast and Furious, in a nutshell. All right, I have now passed this. Good. And if I wanted to, I could mark this as complete. Just to make notes. Completed by Jeremiah. Just to make notes for fun. And you'll see how it, how nice this is to do. There's Asana has lots of ways to mark stuff. But because this happens to be in notes, I may as well for fun. Now, Strifist was assigned to this task when uh, I or you or he and it was assigned. Will, it should say will be assigned. If I want to assign Strifist to a task once again, I can either go up here because it's unassigned, and assign it to him. There we go. Strifus was assigned to this task when I, or you, or he, or anybody, puts his name on it. Um, right, so he, and note, I can go and be him, and this task that we're talking about that's down here in the introduction, that's now his task, in his personal tasks, as well as being in the introduction. But notice it's not in my personal tasks, because it's not assigned to me. So, Strifist has this here. If he wants to assign it to me, because he's done with it for some reason, or because someone gets hit by a bus, or he gets hit by a bus and someone reassigns this to me, Jeremiah, great. So, now, that's my task. Not his, and it shows up both in here, where it already, always was, and also under my tasks. So, that will be less confusing as time goes on. If I refresh this page for Strifist, it'll no longer be under his personal tasks. Once again, the big deal... Whoa, why are you still here? Maybe it's because it, he's once worked on it or something. Uh, but the big deal to remember is that my tasks... Don't put anything under my tasks uh, until you're familiar with Asana. Just put stuff under the projects that the company has, because then everyone can see them. All right, so back to this. Uh, let's see. Please read subtasks below. Then, after reading subtasks, tasks return here for further info. Stop. Good. So... I need to talk about making sure to create all new tasks under the projects section, which is right here. Uh, see subtask notes for more info here. Great, I just did that. I'm going to go ahead and mark that as done. Demonstrate how to type stuff in various areas. If I want to make a new project, I hit return, and I type, 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 and I type, 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 and I type, type, type. And if I want to leave notes under this one, I come over here and put some description in. These are my descriptions, and... Here's a couple of subtasks, one, two, and three. And here's a comment. I love, I love my mom. Although I'm not, sometimes don't love my mom because sometimes she's just so silly. Okay, so I've now created some extra stuff, which I will delete. Uh, 
or just mark as done. Let's do that. It'll be fun. So now we've done these tasks. And coming back to where we were, demonstrate how to type stuff. That is complete. I need to demonstrate how to assign a task. Yep, we already did that. So good. Uh, and here, oh, yes. Assign the next three tasks. These are subtasks. And so uh, they assign the same way as anything else. You just click on the head and shoulders. And I assign this to Strifist. And now he owns that task. I'll assign this to Jeremiah. And now he owns that task. And I'll assign this to Alan. And now he owns that task. And I am done. Done, done. Great. Moving on. We are halfway finished. Talk about task archiving. All right. So these tasks that are completed, they're marked as complete, they are uh, in the, you know, people can, everyone can see that they've been completed until they get archived, and then that just gets them out of your hair. You can still go back and look at them. You can go figure out how later. So, incidentally, if I want, if I accidentally click a task, then I can unclick it. I decided that I didn't finish any of these because they, oh yeah, they required me to be on Jupiter to complete them. Okay, I'm going to fly to Jupiter. Now that I'm here on Jupiter, I can finally complete them. And now they're done. So, that is, uh, you can uncheck things wherever you want. Whether I can uncheck these and recheck them. Handy. All right, so we've talked about that. Uh, talk about personal Asana pro accounts uh, under my personal accounts in... Like, for example, I've got personal. Uh, Strifist has personal. Actually, I'm going to switch back to me because I was under him. Sorry about that. Uh, personal. I have, for example, my groceries, musics. I'd like to build a box truck uh, for vacationing. I have a project with the IRS and places that I want to go see with my life. Um, you are the only one who can see these. No one will ever see your personal shit ever, ever, ever. So back to this. Back to this, and back to where we were. Personal tasks, that's completed. Talk about due dates. Ah, yes. Let's say that the personal tasks, and this can be checked or unchecked, but for fun, make sure it's highlighted. Uh, this, and in fact all of these tasks, were due, ding, ding, today. And uh, that's important. In fact, this, de this task this big, big task in general. Let's say that it was due on the 22nd. Uh, look, it is marked in red, and it's going to send whoever was in charge of this uh, mail about this. You have an overdue task. And if it was due next week, then great. No problem. It's on Wednesday. Or it's somewhere way up, way up in June 26th. Okay, so this project is that it's due today at the end of this video. I'll go ahead and put it back to today. There it is. Um, I don't believe at the time of this video you can create subtasks, due dates, um, on different days. That's kind of dumb. I hope they change that eventually. All right. Talk about personal Asana accounts. Yes, that was done. Uh, due dates is done. Assigning tags by button. Ah, yes. So, um, this tag. Uh, do, do, do. Hello. Yeah, there we go. Um, the tag is going to be, let's say we assign it to revamp. Start type, typing revamp. It's un now under revamp. Uh, and it has, You can tag things with all sorts of nonsense. So, we have unfortunately tagged the wrong thing because I am a retard. But that's how you do that. I don't know what that was. Just a sec. Make sure I don't lose my whole presentation. What are we doing? I'm actually not sure what the hell's going on. Let's do it from over here. Um, this is revamp. Interesting. Yeah, this is supposed to... Supposed to... Huh, looks like Asana's having a little bit of a glitch. But I think you understand what tags are about. So you can tag them with people or places or things or what have you. So back to this and continuing. I want to get done here. Uh, we've talked about tags. Sorry, there was a little glitch. Talk about assigning tags by dragging. Eh, this will be easier. So this is currently an introduction project. Tasks, subtasks. 
uh, which I will delete eventually, just like I'll delete this one. In fact, I'm going to go delete this one right now. You just go over here and go to Delete Project. Confirm. Yes, I want to delete that, and the project is gone. So here, I'm going to drag this into Revamp. And it will now be not only in Revamp, it'll be probably, I think, it should be marked as Revamp. Looks like the tags are just being weird, actually. All right. I don't know, man. You're supposed to be able to drag for tasks or tags as well. Um, but I don't know. You'll have to figure that out when there's not a glitch. Talk about creating a subtask within a task. These are all subtasks within a task. So this is the primary task, and this is subtasks within tasks. So, right, this is a subtask, that's a subtask, and this is a primary task. So, done talking about that. Talk about the earmark and how handy it is. An earmark, my loves. Halfway done, exclamation point. Uh, the earmark of colon will cause this to happen. If I delete the uh, earmark of colon... Wait, sorry. Like, if I'm typing in here and I delete the colon, it just becomes a task or a subtask. If I put the colon back in, you can use it to help you uh, segment your lists of tasks or your whatever you want. So same with this one. If I want to go almost done and turn that back into a task, just take the colon out or add it back in. Same here, what have you. That works over here too. Hello, colon. How handy is that? And then you just go on from there, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 colon, blah, blah, blah. So, right. Handy, handy. Okay. Back up. Almost done. Finish reading the notes at the top of this page. Will do. All right. This has also been completed by Jeremiah. So we'll put it right here to be nice to other people. Behold, this is the further info and just a way for me to show how easy it is to lay out a project task, subtask, etc. in a way that makes sense to other people. Now, as long as I leave notes and I'm not lazy, everybody gets it. And that's the beauty of Asana. Not only is it a task manager for you, but it's a task manager that everyone can see, use, and uh, basically get intimate with. And it's just sensible. So, right. Notice, I want to point out and I want to be really, really, really big about this point. I just made this up as I went along. Uh, made this up, made this up, and I basically just created a task, which to me, in my head, was uh, need to tell people how to use Asana. Bullet list of stuff I need to do. And then I just went and completed it. And it, it kept me on track. You know what I mean? It kept us all on track. And everyone knows not only how I did it, but everything along the way. I left appropriate notes and people can see what I was doing. So there it is. Uh, right. So I just made this up because after all, it's only an example, yo. All right. So be sure to check out the main how to use Asana video. Uh, and that, for your information, is located here. Click help, videos, and it will pop up this list, which you can collapse or close. And it will just go right back here. And check out the intro to Asana video. With this video that I just made and the intro to Asana, you will be able to jump right in and it will be easy as pie. Thank you for watching and for putting up with me swearing like a sailor ever so once in a while. Uh, much less than I do in real life, but right. Okay, bye.